I did in fact just crack open a Red Bull at 9.30 at night. <laughs> Hey, what's up, how are we today? It's Mevi, and in honor of TikTok dying, for lack of better words, sometime in the future, we're really, I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping up to date with this. I think we need a little history lesson. Or really, I need us to reflect on some of our favorite moments, just in case we do end up losing it. Not it as in losing our minds, it as in TikTok. We have lost our minds due to TikTok. If you have been on TikTok recently, you might know of something called a TikTok incident. And although the definition is kind of vague and you can make it whatever you want it to be, a TikTok incident to me, it could just be very iconic. It could be something that like you bring it up and it like unveils a memory or like you just remember laughing at it a lot. Something along those lines is what I define a TikTok incident to be. And I think everyone has their own personal TikTok incidents, a collection. The cool thing about TikTok incidents is that they kind of span over the entirety of TikTok from 2018 to 2024. Can you believe we've almost had TikTok for seven years? I was in the eighth grade when TikTok dropped and I am a sophomore in college. <laughs> Huh? Mental breakdown aside, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite TikTok incidents, my personal collection of them. And then we're also gonna look at some other people's personal collections of TikTok incidents, because I think it's just a rabbit hole that the more you think about different random TikToks, the more you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this did this, oh my God, this did this. And I think it shows just how impactful TikTok has been to not only like my sense of humor, but also to like my life, because like I can define certain TikToks with a certain certain moment or certain era of my life. That's so weird to me. But without any further ado, my oh lady. <laughs> oh my god, oh, it's too late, it's too late. Why are we in the dark? Hello? Oh, I'm just gonna stop talking actually forever and we're gonna watch some TikToks together. Me when I rhyme. Okay, that, let's just get started. We're gonna start off with something that's not from my personal collection of TikTok incidents, but I think something that was one of the first TikTok incidents to hit, to hit, to hit the target. And that was started by none other than this girl here. And this became a TikTok incident because it sparked a bunch of people just making stupid duets with it. Not only making fun of the person who originally created the video, but also just making their own content. So it would look a little something like this. So you've got people like kind of making fun of her, but then you also had duets like this, <laughs> which then became another TikTok incident in my books. You might notice that's a different person because the person on the first side uh, that was already like a trend and then the duet you, you, if you know on TikTok you know what happened anyway these are people who were not moving on from musically you can see the date 2018 12 13 I want to say TikTok happened to drop in around October, November of 2018. This was the rough transition from Musical.ly to TikTok and not everybody caught up immediately, obviously. And not only was this a TikTok incident in 2018, it also started another TikTok incident all the way in 2021. She came back for more. Not the original creator, the sound. I don't know if you guys remember by any chance you should, but it created another TikTok incident, not in the sense it was like a TikTok incident. Well, some of them could be. It became a cosplay dance. What's your idea? You should be. I'm not gonna be mercy. You should be. <laughs> I'm not gonna be any kind of story. You should get it up. You're most niggas. Your tears are what I adore. <laughs> I cannot be cosplay dancing on here. I cannot be doing that. <laughs> that being said, there may or may not be a, a TikTok draft of a 15 year old me doing that. I mean, who didn't? Who didn't? Don't answer that. I also want to know that TikTok incidents not only live rent free or cause certain trends or jokes to be made, they also are the form of incident. It's not necessarily iconic. Those are different. I didn't know if you guys knew. Quick English lesson, those are different. 
iconic TikTok can ha make you laugh, can cause trends, can live rent free in your mind. But an incident has a bit of a more negative connotation as a sense of usually it's poking fun at someone or something. That's usually a crucial part of a TikTok incident. I guess the best way to describe this currently right now, as far as the recording date, October 6, 2024, the best way to describe that would be demure and mindful. It's like iconic. That's not really an incident. No one was really poking fun of that. They're like, oh, that's a cool saying. Yeah, that's like a word we can use. And then they did. There was no really poking fun happening. But then like mama, a girl behind you, I feel like that would be more of an incident. There's not a lot of poking fun going, but there's a bit of a teasing-ish about it because it's like a funny way of saying it. I don't know if that makes sense. That's my logic. That's my train of thought. Going off of the definition I just gave you with the whole like this pokes fun at someone. This is another TikTok incident, an early one from 2020, I believe. My <laughs> no, obviously, yeah, that's funny because someone genuinely posted that. This wasn't even on the private snap or the group chat. No, this was on a public TikTok and people ate it up in a different way than he might have wanted <laughs> because people started duetting it with this. My heart. I loved her. Wah. Genuinely though, with that comb one, how? How did, how does it actually, the words were coming from a comb. Now that you have a general idea of what a TikTok incident is and what it looks like in the OGs, now these are my like personal TikTok incidents that I can mark and be like, yep, yep. And one of those, <laughs> One of those was the e-girl factory. <laughs> the e-girl factory or e-girl juice was someone would go into an e-girl factory or drink e-girl juice and they would turn into an e-girl. It was a really popular trend when I was in the eighth grade. However, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. I think it was group psychosis to be honest. Can't see my hips right now, but my hips are moving. My hips are moving. <laughs> oh god, not Benji. hate that in every one it like grabs them from the neck and pulls them in one i hate that like they like try to make it seem like someone else is doing it but it's really just like them i think that's so funny that's so like og tiktok core i did not just say that i the brain rot the brain rot is brain rotting <laughs> Anyway, I don't like how it's like choking and that you're like always grabbing the face. Just the vibes feel a little too sexual <laughs> for it to be a trend that a 13 year old meme was enjoying. I'm a little uncomfortable. Also, there is definitely a video of there's we're not gonna talk about it. And guess what? All of my TikTok drafts, I had a thousand. All of my TikTok drafts got deleted because I changed phones. Cause I forgot to back them up. <laughs> and I didn't have them on like my public TikTok. It was my private TikTok. I had a thousand drafts from the point of a 13 year old me to now. And I'm not like that upset about it because in some cases that video was gone and off the face of the planet forever. <laughs> That's good. But also like, I'm like, oh my God, five years of my life are just gone now, <laughs> but it's okay. They're not gone. They're in here. I'm pointing to my heart, but you can't see my heart. They're in here, right? Right there at all times. All of my TikTok drafts are there. Moving on to a TikTok incident that's like an incident to me personally, but I also feel like is an incident to so many people and defined an era of TikTok really was the Miss Karen English Teacher.com, aka the vegan teacher. The vegan teacher was originally an English teacher at a school and she made up songs and she would sing the songs. And I don't know who was filming her, but someone was filming her and her records got dropped and the world discovered her in a not good way. She's also problematic, we found out. I also want to say the 
the only Miss Karen English Teacher.com's washroom songs that I can find are either on Roblox videos or are like the lyrics, but they're just slowed down a little bit more than the Roblox videos. And the Roblox videos is the sound I remember, but I can't find that sound with the lyrics. I might combine them. I don't know, but just know this is the song. Miss Karen English Teacher.com. Yeah. Three, two, one, say. La, 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 la. Hello students, today I'm going to teach you another sentence in English. First, let's read. Can I go to the washroom, please? Now with actions. Can I go to the washroom, please? What are you doing here? Can I go to the washroom, please? No. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm just kidding. You can go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, Miss Karen English Teacher.com to find a whole era of TikTok. 20 yeah, 2021, I would say, for the most part. She's still low-key relevant? I don't really know. Did she die? Did she kill somebody? I'm not sure. All I know is that MissKarenEnglish.com introduced me to one of my best friends in high school. We bonded over that. Maybe magic, magic does, does happen, happen on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> anyway, that's why it's like an incident for me because not only does it live in my mind rent free and it was on all of the like the 2020 like alt TikTok shit, but also a metaphor lifer because of it. I hated that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The, you know who you are. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Another one of my TikTok incidents personally, because uh, for me, just just for me, I don't know if you guys remember this. Core memory, one. Core memory of me seeing that. I'm pretty sure it was on the floor laughing. That video was saved on my phone for years. <laughs> years. I recently deleted it off of my phone. There's a video of me 2020, 4th of July, I believe. And we were outside and I was in my PJs and there were fireworks going off in the background. And there's just a horrid video of me doing that dance. I don't know where it is. It's not on my phone. I don't know who has that video. I know it. Someone has it. Someone has it. It needs to be deleted. <laughs> I'm realizing that the trope with a lot of these is I recreated these trends and I don't like it. <laughs> also, he looks like Sid, the psychopath from Toy Story. Does anybody else get that vibe? Where are they now? That's the real question. Where are they now? <laughs> this video, I don't think it's a TikTok incident for a lot of people because it's not the most relevant thing in the world, but like I, this video this video was one of the funniest things that ever came on my for you page also saved on my phone for a long time i don't know if it's this relevant to anybody else but to me this video means a lot are you sure bella i don't think i'm ready yes you're ready i can see the miracle of in you okay well, what did you say <laughs> oh my god what is it you it's Oh my god, <laughs> you have every single one of our gifts. You are the true miracle. Oh my god. Oh my god, babe. Not only is every single character whitewashed, and not only is it me mojis, but I think the Bruno is just the, the nail in the coffin for that video. That video is so funny. I don't know if that's relevant to anybody else. That's a very, that's a very personal TikTok incident to me. Now we're getting into more recent TikTok incident territory. And I do want to preface this by saying this was definitely not all of my TikTok incidents. I've been on TikTok since the very beginning. Okay. I'm just going to say that I've seen my fair share of crappy short form content. All right. But these are TikTok incidents that still continue to live rent free in my head currently. I feel like this is too millennial. I, I just need to take this. <laughs> So I chugged this entire Red Bull at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> okay, anyway, TikTok incidents from like the past year. Welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Deku are going to make some slime. Some Baku Deku slime. Baku Deku slime. Baku Deku slime. Baku Deku Baku 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 Deku slime. Got the green paint. Got the orange paint. Put it in your face like Drake's Drake. The amount of TikToks on my For You page for like three weeks straight using the Baku Deku slime <laughs> audio unmatched. It genuinely became like a vocal stem for me. Silence. I'm either meowing, what was I made for? We don't talk about it. Or going Baku Deku slime, 
Buckle deck of slime, bucket deck of slime, bucket deck of slime, get the green paint, get the orange paint, put it in your face. And I'm not proud of it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. And I do want to reiterate this by saying I don't think I've seen any piece of My Hero Academia content since like freshman year of high school. I don't know how to defend myself, but just like trust me. My sources trust me, bro. So your sources trust me, bro? That's not a TikTok incident, but that also lives room free in my head. That kid is an icon and I kind of aspire to be him when I grow up. And my final TikTok incident to me personally that controlled my brain is the recent rise of Trident in the months of June and July. Right before Biden dropped out of the run, him and Trump were having very spicy, no, no, not spicy, actually no, no, not spicy, intense debates where none of them were really saying anything, but intense debates. And Trump got shot and Biden reached out and you know, dare I say there was some chemistry and dare hundreds of thousands of other people on TikTok say there was some chemistry. <laughs> Again, my source for this is Trust Me Bro, along with all these other TikToks. I'll kiss every guy, man and woman, man and woman. Look at that guy, how handsome he is. I'll kiss him. It is well known he exchanged love letters with Kim Jong. I fucked you in the bathroom when we went to dinner. Your parents at the table, you wonder why I'm bitter. Rocking to your friends, I get off when you hit it. I hate to tell the truth, but I'm sorry, dude, you didn't. Yeah, I forgot to mention there was lore. Um, Kim Jong un is also involved in this. Uh <laughs> Hey, oh, by the way, I told you it's not happening to a dog if you carry it on back. You can do it? I've seen you this way, I know this way. You can't tell me that's not flirting. That is flirting. They are just two high school girls. They are just two teenage girls who are actually adult men in their 80s. Hey, did anybody else see that? D d d d was that just me? <laughs> anyway, that's how most of the Trident edits go, but there's one specific Trident video that is personally is a TikTok incident to me. Like this whole niche is a TikTok incident in like this whole oh, revolution. Me when I'm in Hamilton, <laughs> this whole revolution is like a TikTok incident. However, this specific video is a personal TikTok incident. Content warning, blood. Anyway, this <laughs> video. <laughs> One, there's a comment that says, should I edge or cry? <laughs> Two, I showed this video and sent this video to so many of my friends. None of their responses were positive for some reason. Um, I think they're just haters. This video genuinely produced a tear for me. I don't know if it's the fact that the furry Joe Biden looks so much like Joe Biden that's kind of shocking or just the content of the video in general. I could honestly make a whole video about Trident ship edits. However, I don't want to do that with my time. <laughs> anyway, those were a number of my own TikTok incidents. Now we're going to look at some other people's TikTok incidents just to see if like I remember them and we can be like we can bond we can be like I don't know what that was hopefully we're not like that I didn't like that what do you got there Deku is that macaroni and cheese oh no it's close though it's tonaroni and cheese oh well okay um it just looks like white macaroni and cheese oh no Ew. it has a secret ingredient that makes it different I made it instead of cheese I used Todoroki uh -uh. I don't know if I've ever seen that video. That was horrible. I already see the bump coming in. Who's baby? I can't believe I'm gonna have a baby with Todoroki. Oh. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? The woman on Dr. Phil who thought she was pregnant with Jesus. She wasn't pregnant at all. I am pregnant and it is Jesus. <laughs> I am um, my, my name is Calcutta, and I think.
Olivia. What happened to Topher? What happened to him? Where is he now? Last year he was popping off. I don't know where he went. Anyway, that child should have been on Ellen. Okay, for one, with Sophia and Grace and Rosie, I knew her name. Two, I already know that kid is going to be, he's going to be a lot in the future, I can imagine. <laughs> M to the B, M, 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 M to the B, M to the B, M to the B, boom. I may or may not have made my entire family do that at a dinner table once. Actually, the question is why did I make them? It's actually why did they do it? And the thing was that was a few months ago. That was not when this was popular. Can we talk about how she like had a music career for a little- Where did- Again, where are they now? Not to make fun of fandoms, I would never. They just kept going. I just, they just kept going. The Eddie Munson phase of TikTok, which is a whole TikTok incident in itself, specifically this video, but also everything. I will not play you guys Chrissy Wake Up. That and the corn song are on my D, D and I. Do not interact. D and I, they're on my D and I list. I should put them in my Twitter bio. The Chrissy Wake Up, like, it brings out another side of me, a side you don't want to see. Okay, I gotta, I really gotta go to bed. <laughs> I look crazy. I look like I'm trying to explain something irrational. This is not irrational. Chrissy Wake Up can go die in a hole and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna... Anyway, with all that being said, I think we've seen enough TikToks today. <laughs> I had a few core memories brought back to me. I hope you guys did too. I also had a few horrifying memories brought back to me and I hope you guys too, because if I have to suffer, so do you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a freaking amazing day. The brain bra- the brain- the voices! If you guys have any thoughts, opinions, or feelings about the video, type it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, guess what? You can go hit that like button. And while you're down there, you can go hit that subscribe button. Please do it. We're so close to 60,000, which is insane. That's crazy. And also, if I made you laugh, you legally have to subscribe to me. That's just the rules. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I love you. Bye. Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. Hi, hello. Chrissy, wake up. <laughs>